Today, let's learn how to access SQL Server database over LAN and Internet. First, learn how to access SQL Server database over LAN. For this, we need to do some setting on the server computer. So, type configuration and open SQL Server configuration manager and expand SQL Server network configuration and click on protocol for MS SQL Server and make sure TCP IP state is enabled. If it is disabled, right click and click on enable. After this, open firewall and select Windows Defender firewall with advanced security and click on inbound rules. Then click on new rules. Then click on ports then click on next then type here port number 1433 this is the port number which is used by sql server to access the database over the lan and internet click next then click next then click next then give a name here i have given here sql 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 server and click finish we are doing this so that firewall allows sql server to pass firewall and can establish connection and database can be sql database can be accessed after this open the sql server and connect to the database and let's do some setting over this sql database so right click the SQL Server and click on properties and click on security and make sure in server authentication uh, check the SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. We are enabling this feature so that this SQL Server can be accessed only by password over LAN and internet. After this restart the MS SQL Server by right clicking on it and click on restart after this restart the server with this few setting we can access this sql server from another computer over lan now after this let's learn how to access this sql server over internet in order to access SQL Server over internet, we need to do port forward. So let's learn port forwarding. So go to your router and provide the credential and log into it. Then click on forwarding, then click on virtual server. Then in the service port type 1433, in the internal port 1433, and in the IP address type the IP address of the server and in the protocol select all and click on save. In this way we port forward. And if we want to host a website, then we will port forward port number 80 like this. In the service port, type port number 80. In the internal port, type port number 80. Then in the IP address, type the IP address of the server. In the, if we port forward port number 80, then we can host a website. As you have learned port forwarding, now let's learn how to configure the devices for port forwarding. As we are port forwarded, we are vulnerable of hacking and viruses and malware. So in order to stop this hacking and vulnerable of viruses and malware, we need to buy one firewall like this, that is Netgear, that is the physical firewall. And its cost is very high. Instead of this, you can also use old PC and install firewall OS and use as firewall OS. Now let's learn how to port forward in the devices. In the firewall, we have to port forward the IP address of this server. That is, I have, the, I have port forwarded 192.168.2.100, which is the IP address of the server. And in this router, we have to port forward the IP address, which is connecting between the router and firewall. And this is the IP address, which provides internet to this firewall. So we have to port forward the IP address which is connecting the router and the firewall. And look at this 
router IP address that is 192.168.1.1 and and the IP address the end, uh, ending with 2.2.254 any number IP, any IP address uh, starting from 2.2.254 can give internet and I have chosen 192.168.1.50 so that I can get internet to this firewall so this is the IP address which is providing internet to this firewall and, I, and we have to provide in this router so I have provided 1.2.1.50 in the router after this we need to buy one IP address from the ISP that is internet service provider they will provide one public IP address and by using this public IP address we can access the SQL server database from the server now let's learn how to wear the wear within the devices the ISP will provide one line and then that one line has to be connected to the one of this router and from the LAN of this router to the one of this firewall and from the LAN of this firewall to the LAN of this switch then to the server and the client PC in order to access the SQL server over LAN then type the IP address of the server then type the, type the username then type the password then click on connect then we can access the SQL server over LAN and if you want to access the SQL server over internet then type the IP address provided by the ISP that is the public IP address then type the username then type the password then click on connect